limestone deposit that have accumulated over thousands of years. And inside there, there's a very well preserved amphitheater. So if you want to beat the crowd, very very good. Look at the size. Just look at the size. It's like having a foot clay bath. One of the most uncomfortable rides. A very good morning here at Pamukkale. So yesterday night was a very long night. We set a midnight bus all the way from Gorame to Pamukkale. And the bus was really very uncomfortable. So if you are planning to travel from Gorome to Pamukkale by bus, do be prepared. Remember to bring an eye mask. So now that we are here, behind us is the Trunvertines of Pamukkale. And that's the main purpose why we are here. And this famous thermal pool are actually a result of limestone deposit that have accumulated over thousands of years. And if you buy an entrance ticket which is 400 Turkish Lira, you can actually get access to the thermal pools which is the Tramontines of Pamukkale as well as the ancient city of Herapolis. So do not miss that because it was built around 200 BC. And inside there, there's a very well preserved amphitheater and it's really very nice. The area is quite big so if there's only one thing that you need to visit in Herapolis, it is that theater. You can either do it before or after you visit the thermal pools. So if you to look up online, this area actually opens officially at 8 a.m. at the city entrance, but it opens at 6:30 a.m. at their south gate entrance. So if you want to beat the crowd and you want to be inside the area early, you will need to sit a cab from the main town to the south gate. It's only a five-minute ride, and the five-minute ride costs us about 100 Turkish lira, which is quite affordable in a sense that you really get to beat the crowd. When we were already inside the Tramontine's area, people were just preparing to get in. So that's the difference between being at the south gate at 6.30am versus coming through the city gate at 8am. So some tips about the thermal pool is that the floors are really slippery and pointy. You, yeah, there's a lot of rocks. You need to be barefooted so it just increases the level of pain while you're walking through the thermal pools. It could be quite a therapeutic experience. The other thing is that some parts of the area is blocked for access so do not venture into those areas. The thermal pool itself has a very clay-like texture so once you put your foot in, you can actually feel some clay-like texture so it's quite a good experience, it's like having a foot clay bath. After we left the attraction, we had a quick brunch. The restaurant we chose served simple yet delicious food. We also tried our first Turkish dessert while we were there. Together. Oh. This one, eating after this. Oh, so eat this first? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, it was a little too sweet. After the meal, we went back for a quick nap. There's a lot of restaurants along the streets of Pamukkale and the reason why we chose to eat here is because it has 4.9 star review on Google. The reviews are all very good and they say that they serve good food with good price. So we are here to try. So do note that if you want to come here and eat, you need to make a reservation in advance in Google or in Instagram because they will only entertain customers with reservation. So we have ordered a pan lamb meat and also a chicken shish. Later, we will do a taste test whether the food is really as nice as what has been mentioned in Google review. Look at the massive sauces that the store owner offered to us. This is the first time I've seen so many sauces other than in supermarket. <laughs> Yeah, so according to the store owner, everything is actually a dipper for fries except these two. These two are actually salad dressing. After around 10 minutes, our food has arrived and it is quite a feast. This is the chicken shish and this is the pan lamb meat. I will taste the lamb first. I like the texture of the rice. The rice is a bit sticky. Mm. And the gravy is very flavorful. It's a tomato gravy with very heavy taste of lamb. This is the chicken cheese. We never expected it to be so huge. Look at the amount of potato wages. Chicken meat and the vegetable, the salad. It's really a lot. They even have eggplants. It's definitely a feast and we really didn't expect it to be so huge. They even provided us some pieces of bread on top plus an additional side of bread. Okay, so how shall I start? 
I'm very interested in all the sauces and so maybe we'll try this one first because this one looks really good. Sweet honey mustard sauce. The wages is crispy. It actually tastes really very good. Like it's not overly fried. The texture is just slightly crispy and the potato inside is, is pretty sweet. Maybe I will just go on to the chicken cheese. It's not really very saltish. It is tender and it's grilled nicely. Most of the skewers that we eat or the past few dishes that we eat here in Turkey, they are very very strong in flavour. This has just the right amount of flavour and I like it a lot. Tender, not really very saltish, very very good. So we have come to love the rice from Turkey because it's slightly harder and drier but it's very flavourful. It's like glutinous rice but it's not sticky. So if you think of like a drier kind of glutinous rice, that's the kind of texture and it's really good. Another thing that I'm very interested in trying is their pomegranate sauce because it mentioned that this is homemade and it's like in a very awesome jug. Mm, quite sourish. I expected it to be a little bit sweet but there's not hint of sweetness in it. It's actually quite sourish so probably not my taste and I don't really like to eat salad anyway so. If you're at Pamukkale and you want good service, great food, definitely come to this place but do remember to reserve in advance. Very very good. Look at the size. Just look at the size. And the prices here are actually not very very expensive. They are almost the same as the prices of the stuff we ate here in Pamukkale as well as in Goreme. So definitely if you have a choice, this is the restaurant to be at. I think eating in this restaurant is not only for the food but also for the experience. So the store owner actually provides us uh, free drinks. I got an apple tea, Sean got a Turkish coffee. On top of the free drinks, they actually provide a lot of snacks. It is like a set cost meal but we only ordered the main dish. Overall, this restaurant is really a very good restaurant to dine at. Come here when you are at Kamukale. It's about 7 p.m. now and we are here at a garden in front of the Transpentine of Pamukkale. It's a free to enter garden and it provides a very good view of the Cotton Castle. Remember we told you about the bus we took from Goreme to Pamukkale? Well, here are a few more complaints about it. The bus from Goreme to Pamukkale was probably one of the most uncomfortable rides we ever had. So one thing to note is that don't book any seats that is before the exit of the bus. And the last row as well. Because those seats don't fully recline. The leg room is worse than a budget airline. <laughs> yeah. And what makes it more uncomfortable is that at every single stop, they were actually on the light. So it's very hard to sleep. So if you're ever traveling by that bus, bring an eye mask if you want to catch up on some sleep. Because yes. there's quite a few stops along the way and there's also a few rest stops. And sometimes they will also stop to check on the bus as well. So most of this time, you will definitely get disturbed if you are sleeping. But one good thing about the bus is that they provide free flow water. They do have a small fridge for us to self-service the water. And they do provide snacks and coffee. I'm not sure why they provide coffee during an overnight bus. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today here at Pamukkale and we will see you in our next video. Bye bye! And the most important thing...